As Rwanda prepares to start manufacturing its vaccines and other different medicines, Mukunzi Antoine, the division manager at the Quality Control Laboratory, says that having such a laboratory is one of the most important infrastructure to have. The laboratory helps in terms of constant inspection to know that the medicine manufactured meets the international standards for people to be sure that vaccines are safe, medicine itself can be poisoned if inappropriately used or when it doesn't fulfill the required standards. It should be manufactured carefully so that it doesn't have negative effects on people's lives. Rwanda FDA says through the partnership with BioNTech, Rwanda will start manufacturing vaccines at the beginning of next year, 2022. The Director General of the Rwanda FDA, Dr. Emil Bianveni, says that one of the reasons they decided to work with the BioNTech is the state of the art technology and the expertise they have in vaccine manufacturing. The technology with uh, RNA technology. They are not the only ones that use it, but it's an updated technology in terms of vaccine manufacturing. The mRNA technology that uses cells to make the vaccine. When people hear of vaccines, they think it's something that causes diseases that are not as severe as the original, and that it is given to someone so that the body can become accustomed to it. But when you go beyond and study the cells that cause this disease, you can make the vaccine based on this information, and that's what this technology is specific for. So that's why we chose to go with this. Dr. Emil also acknowledges that the country is in the process of making its own vaccines and other different drugs aimed at improving the health of Rwandans and everyone in general. We shall start with the malaria and tuberculosis vaccines. The reason we are starting with those is because across Africa and other developing countries, these diseases are dominant. And for the COVID-19 vaccine and other diseases that affect the world, that too is in the pipeline. What that means is that Rwandans will lead healthy lives. What we would otherwise have to import will now be done within the country, with the quality being emphasized. And it will also help the economy to grow because the vaccines we manufacture here will be distributed to other countries. We are a country that seeks solutions. <laughs> Rwanda FDA says the manufacturing plant will be established in the special economic zone. Our plan is to ensure that all that is required to start come 2022 will be available. When we talk about the manufacturing equipment needed, we don't think it is something that will take us five years and that it's something that is very far away. For now, we shall use portable infrastructure. The important thing is to prepare the environment, and that's what we are doing. Some residents are now elated about vaccine manufacturing within the country. Our leadership loves Rwandans and think of their well-being. Sickness affects the Rwandan community. It's a whole chain from the patient, the caretaker, the provider, the money spent when buying medicine. So once we have vaccines and people are protected, it will help the economy to grow and the life expectancy of people to increase. According to the Rwanda FDA, Rwanda has most of the requirements for it to be classified under maturity level 3 to qualify for vaccine manufacturing. A team from the World Health Organization will, at the beginning of next week, arrive in Rwanda to establish Rwanda's progress so far. Vaccine manufacturing within the country is a program that has been underway for a while, with first establishing the Rwanda Biomedical Center, the Rwanda Medical Supply, and the Rwanda FDA. Gloria Mutesi, reporting for RTV News.